we have two thin concentric metal shells like this with charges q1 and q2 we need to find the self energy values w1 and w2 of each shell the interaction energy between the two shells and the total electrical energy of the system so initially self energy so that we define as the external work required to form that particular system so here the system self energy of the shell is how much work needs to be done to form this shell of charge q so let's say we have a charge q at a given time and we are adding the extra charge dq on it so the small work done needed to bring this dq, DQ charge from infinity to this point that is the dw external is equal to k q dq by r so potential on this point times dq and potential at this point is k q by r which gives work external total is integral of this and integral of q dq will be q square by 2 so total self energy of a shell comes to be k q square by 2 r very important result we are going to use it in at least next five six problems so this is the self energy of a shell so this is this implies that w1 and w2 for each shell will be kq square by 2r1 and kq square by 2r2 so this should be kq1 square and kq2 square by 2r2 now we have found the self energies of each shell and now it's time to calculate the interaction energy of the two shells so to calculate interaction energy we fix one of the charges and then we form slowly build up the other system and then find what is the work done to build that other system so we have two shells so let's fix the inner shell so we will fix the q1 and then slowly start to deposit charges on the external shell so let's say we deposit dq charge so for concentric shells depositing dq on outermost shell interaction energies work external against inner shell so dw external to bring this dq charge is potential at this point times dq potential at this point is k q1 by r2 so k q1 by r2 times dq this is the work external so we just integrate this and that will be the total work external that as we defined as the interaction energy between the two so it will be k q1 by r2 integral dq dq is k1 final charge is q2 0 to q2 it becomes k q1 q2 by r2 which is our answer the interaction energy between the two finally the total electrical energy of the system so that is self energy of first shell plus self energy of second shell plus interaction energy of both shells w1 plus w2 plus w12 so i'm not doing it here you can just do it yourself and verify the answer